All right, so I'm not saying that I'm um, like an expert or whatever on uh, using this strategic map, but I'm starting to clue in. And th no, this is not this is not the strategic map. We're, we're going to get there in a minute. Hold on. But what I've been doing, and it, it was more kind of like a just to get in preparation for January 1915. So with the Ottomans and the and the Russians signing the uh, non-aggression pact, I've been trying to figure out. Okay. I've been looking at um, the Russian setup for 1914 and going, okay, let's strip this army bare and who's going to remain in, you know, up uh, which the Ottomans are, call are calling the, um, the Armenian front. And so I've been doing this. And then I was realizing, it's like, wait a minute, you know what? Because it, there's basically, I'm not doing any stacking. I'm going to use a scanned image of... Um, part of the Osmanli Harbi counters, and I'll just print them off that way and I can pop them on the normal map. And then I can start, you know, going from there and figuring out who's going to be from where. So hold on. Yeah, I have to get on a stool because, I mean, you know, I'm running out of uh, parts of the house, basically. So, yeah, I've popped, popped these guys here and I've really stripped the place bare. So, um, and a part of what I'm pretending as for the non-aggression pact is both sides have decided that you can't uh, place any troops uh, 20 kilometers, um, so basically a hex, uh, within the border. So the Russians are like, okie doke. And of course, it can be sneaky monkeys because that's the Persian border. So you could put someone there, just zippity dip. But anyways, this is the uh, the important bit for um, Elizabethapol. Um, anyways, that's kind of like the demarcation point or the, the takeoff point for this connector to the strategic map. So basically, I think the strategic map is almost like a weird way of folding space, not time, but just space. And, um, you know, representing um, lots of space in a, on a map, basically. The weird thing is, is take a look at the hex numbers. So 47, or sorry, 4104. So... Elizabethapol is at 4105 and the last rail bit is let's say 470 or 4802 or sorry yeah 4802 4703 okay so just remember these bits all right so there you go because in Elizabethapol neither of those numbers I mean that fourth 503 is not Elizabethapol. It's not that second last hex near it. That's 4703. And it's not 4802. So I don't know what that number is because it supposedly represents the, would have been on the other map. Um, and that's how you hop back and forth kind of thing. So anyways, these guys are, are waiting to go off. And now, you know what this is, the other beautiful thing is, I have to start figuring out naval um transport and so on and so forth because i'm going to get the supplies over to here it's going to take a long flipping time i think mostly this is just a thought experiment or like a practice basically and it says a single track rail on on the strategic map one thing i wish they would not say though in the rules like they, they called it a strategic c map i'm like huh like i understand what you're saying can you just keep it it just freaked me out a bit i was like okay what are you talking about here i mean I'm not going by the sea. So it was, anyways, it just kind of, yeah, kind of freaked me out a little bit there. So anyways, I so it's one-tenth, or sorry, it's 10 hexes on a regular map. So I would assume that means four um, movement point uh, units should be able to go um, four, hex, uh, four squares or four hexes over to there. I'm assuming, uh, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'm not an expert and I'll keep reading. There's not a heck of a lot it's not a big long section. I think it's section 36. Anyway, so I th I'm pretending that these guys, the 36th, um, or sorry, the 39th uh, Infantry Division got uh, on the, or they were, you know, someone got on the blower and basically said, get your ass um, going right away. It's like practically before the ink was even dried. So they've already moved two turn. Or I'm saying this is them at the end of 03 November. So they should be here. Uh, 04 November. I think they will make it to Proskurov um, by 07 November as reinforcements, which means they'll be over here. So they'll be 
appearing here on 07 November. I think that's pretty cool. As far as I know, like I said, I'm just starting. Oh, it just it's just blowing me away the the way things are starting to, I guess, organically connect together. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you. Um, I did. Oh, I haven't yet, but <clears throat> I th hopefully they're in stock near my local staples. Unfortunately, I can only get the three and a half, which is not too bad though. Let's see that tiny bit. I got. I'll try to go as like straight up, so you don't get the glare. And that's what I'm trying to get away from is that glare. So the three and a half millimeter wide is the only one I can get with white, uh, white with black text and non-laminated. Uh, all the other stuff here is laminated. It's just what I can go with. But I would like to go, I would love to stick with the six millimeter, which is the much bigger one there. But I can't because, you know, I mean, all these people, have these massively long names. And once things start getting into whatever, but I thought this would be a kind of a nice way um, to help, well, to help me, uh, remember the names and I love this man for the narrative and so on and so forth it's just been fantastic and I thought maybe it would also help you guys out a bit too when you know like starting to see stuff and you can start seeing maybe a little bit of how I'm trying to do like how I maybe I love partitioning things I always love putting cores or uh groups uh like I like having them have flanked rivers so you can see like the 14th core here 13th core uh, eighth core. Hold on. We'll zip it around a bit. Seventh core. You can see what I mean. It's like river, 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 river. Anyway, you get the idea. So yeah, I've been making actually, there's been a lot of movement. I've been just partitioning. Um, uh, I actually moved off a couple of the um, reserve Fistung infantry divisions over to here because I really, I I know that like, for example, the 14th core Van Schultz knows for, even though right now, um, he's barely got anybody. Uh, there will be a push this way. Um, it's actually um, the third. Is it third core? Ye Hold on. Yes, third core is going to have uh, some issues. Of, uh, like they're going to need some reinforcements. It's like, but I can only you know I can only do so much at once. But boy, oh boy, there's just so much coming, man. So much. It's crazy. This is the weird, okay, that's the other side thing is with the narrative, I think I'm just going to go, um, well, we'll see how well it goes. I think it's probably going to go extremely well um, on 03 November. Yeah, the green things I'm just using for where the Fistung divisions are being railed to um, uh, or moved off to um, and being uh, whatever. But boy, oh boy, I'm loving this bit. I, I just can't wait to get, like I said, to get rid of the glare and just go... Um, non-laminated um, whatever so I'll just use them well it's because this is the way I like this table to be used in that in this type of uh, uh, yep 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 all right hope you're having a fantastic time see you later